All right. I hope you guys can hear me. I am now inside iRacing with the Dune build 2016 using my Oculus Rift CV1. And uh, yeah, a bit surprised that it is actually working. I just um, straight out of the box. I have been using the, the Rift for uh, a few weeks. Uh, this is the very first time. I should actually just <clears throat> just um, make this a bit better. It's actually pretty wide. Just give me a moment here. There you go. That's a little bit better. All right. Now we're starting. All right, that should do it for now. I have loaded up the Nordschleife uh, VLN uh, config, and um, yeah, send a position. Doesn't work yet. Whoops. Um, so first thoughts is that not much of a difference uh, compared to the DK2. It's um, it's obviously a bit better. Um, it's a bit more clear, for sure. Um, this box here, Alpha Snap, Hydra. Oh, just need my really looking ugly here. It's two seconds. Recenter. Ah, that's why. <clears throat> Just need to do this. This is stupid. Right. Recenter. Rift aligned. There we go. That was uh, the Dre, the digital race engineer, which I'm developing at the moment. We'll soon be having a release on it. All right, let's go. Uh, okay. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> That's pretty, pretty insane. Just want to remove this. There we go. All right. Uh, so the bounding box still there. Um, yeah, it's definitely still there. I can see that um, I've almost maxed it out on the top. Um, Moving up test up to P0. Awesome. Second thing that I am um, noticing is when I when I drove here uh, in the DK2, uh, it was like lagfest. Was there was so much start of me, and uh, now I can I can still see that the actual sim is still stirring, but the head tracking is totally smooth. Uh, you might not be able to see that, but it's uh, definitely. Uh, Definitely a relief because now it's like, it's like you're watching a, a flickering screen, although you are actually in in the world. So uh, yeah, just want to take it out for a spin here. <clears throat> um, it would be quite interesting to come to the not slight as a section uh, to to get rid of the stutters and and really experiencing uh, how it is. Whoa, uh, okay, <laughs> nice. Anyway, I won't be uh, having a long uh, video here, just a short uh, first view. Uh, so I think it's all right that we just continue with the slight damage. All right, we're out in the woods now and frame rates are better. You know what? I should probably just put back on the the FPS meter here so you can track along. 
Um, <clears throat> all right. Um, yeah. Well, uh, colors, colors are like you used to. Maybe a little bit more washed out than uh, usual than the DK2. Um, but it's it's not too bad. I actually maybe prefer this a little bit. Um, definitely the head tracking. Oh, it's butter, buttery smooth. It's so nice. You can just like turn the head and it's it's like it's updating instantly. Um, yeah, I really feel comfortable in the in the car. I can oh. <laughs> So in the past two months, I, I has haven't actually been able to race much with the DK2, and so I've been mainly been using uh, screens, and it's such a such a pleasure to finally again be able to look into the apexes, into the corners, and just yeah, looking over over the car when I wanna just just um, hit hit the curbs a l slightly. Uh, what else is there? Um, yeah, it's really just a pleasure. Um, you can sense when the frame rates are a bit low, um, but I guess <coughs> it uh, from the DK2 and from the earlier SDK implementation of Oculus uh, SDK, uh, this is a, a huge change. But users of uh, DK2 and CV1 already knows what the asynchronous uh, time walking uh, does so it's it's actually not not a surprise that it, it is like this it's just really pleasant that finally we we have it in uh, r racing as well um sense of scale uh i think it's almost like the dk2 at least for me um maybe i have a little bit better um understanding of the the size of the um, of the tires for some weird reason and the um, and the track width um, and I think this is due to the um, that I'm actually able to see further ahead um, so yeah I know what we're going to going to do here and then uh, end of the review we're gonna look for uh, a marker, uh, uh, a sign, and then see how far we need this one. Is good, and see how far away we, we can actually read something of it. Uh, I can sense, kind of now that it says, "Is it Yokohama?" I cannot read it. I can just see that that's probably the logo. Still can't see what it's saying. Now I'm probably 100 meters away. Still nothing. Still nothing is starting to come in here. Yokohama, here it is. So it's still. But then again, the Yokohama logo there is, is really detailed, and, and from a distance, the pixels just aren't there. So you, you can't really see it. Um, the next sign over here, you can't see it. It's all white for me. Now it's appearing. But it doesn't matter that much to me because the track is actually very detailed. Um, I can see I can see the apex up here, all fine. And when I go around it, I can definitely see the track out uh, to a much larger extent than I was able to in the DK2. So I, th I think <coughs> uh, the blurry vision has sort of uh, diminished with the the CV1 and you're you're able to do now almost what you're able to do on the screens but then again uh, the, the rift has uh, so many other ad advantages um, to a screen so we are I would say we are like 90 percent uh, towards a, a, a proper monitor uh, resolution uh, with regards to details but uh, <laughs> yeah it's 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 awesome it's really awesome um, again it's just butter smooth head, head tracking that's really 
a huge relief to me. I'm running uh, i7 4740K, I think, uh, with uh, uh, NVIDIA GTX 970 for the win. Plus. Um, but I, um, the head tracking previously in iRacing, it has been stutters. And, and um, that would often result in me having uh, neck uh, strains because uh, when there are these uh, stutters you want to keep your head still and straight um, but now that it's rather smooth I can sort of like yeah lean in and, and my eyes doesn't hurt from it because the image is updated instantly and I think uh, speaking fatigue and endurance races and and uh, stuff like that um, you definitely be able to have a more uh, satisfactory um, driving now with the CU1 so uh, yeah I guess uh, I should end this video now and get it uploaded for use that are you guys out there that are not able to see yet so uh, yeah thanks for watching see you